Hey everyone, my name is Jose Barajas and I'm the Technical Director of North America for Sales and Engineering here at Attack IQ. Today I'm excited to bring you the first episode of our new series, Cyber Stacks. In each episode, we'll be talking about a key feature in the Attack IQ platform and what it can mean for you and your organization. Of course, enjoying our favorite snack while we do it. Today I'll be talking about MITRE and how it, we've integrated it with the Attack IQ platform. I've got my pair here, which Attack IQ gave me as part of a holiday package. So this is what I'll be enjoying today. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at how Attack IQ's security optimization platform can help practitioners of MITRE apply a threat informed defense. What we'll take a look at today is how that's supported through the assessment creation process within the scenario library, which are the tactics, techniques, and procedures available to attack IQ customers to validate their security controls. And also from the perspective of reporting both in product and also PDF style reports that we can share with management where appropriate. So let's dive in and start off by creating a new assessment. We go ahead and select choose template we're taking to the Attack IQ Assessment Template Library. This Assessment Template Library is consistent with a variety of different assessments based on different use cases that one might have, whether it's testing security controls baseline and basics, verifying your coverage against a given threat report, or even testing cloud services. The appropriate assessment template is available for you to review and execute in order to see how your environment responds. We also have templates specific to different categories of the MITRE attack matrix as well, so that you can get started in those different tactic level perspectives and verify that your controls are responding correctly from there. The other way that you can actually create an assessment is leveraging MITRE's attack navigator project directly as well. This is an example of one where I mapped out the differences and overlap, I should say, between enterprise and ICS matrix. Uh, and in doing so, I was able to actually import it directly into the Attack IQ product. Similarly, today, if you're tracking your posture, your capabilities and functionality of your SOC through the MITRE Attack Navigator layers, it's easy enough for you to actually import that directly into the product and generate an assessment based on that context. Let's go ahead and use Maze as an example and generate an assessment directly based on the third intel and context that MITRE has provided us. If we go here to the MITRE ATT&CK maze software page, we can see that they provide a summary of the techniques used. And we can actually go ahead and take a look at this in a visual perspective if we use a navigator layer. So let's go ahead and do that. As we can see here, we have the various TTPs that are being used uh, across the MITRE ATT&CK matrix. And as a user of Attack IQ, we can actually directly generate an assessment based on this context. If we go back, we can actually select the document that we just downloaded and open it here. If we want to, we can select a logo as well. I'll just do so and go ahead and import that directly into the Attack IQ product. Because we have coverage of the MITRE attack matrix, which we'll see a little later from the, in our scenario library, we're able to take that layer do a mapping at the tactics TTPs subtechnique level uh, and verify and generate an assessment accordingly. So in this case, across the seven different tactics, we have corresponding scenarios to verify um, coverage of techniques that are known to be leveraged by Maze. As we can see here, we can take a look at things like execution and the different methodologies employed there as well as something like command and control also. By importing it from this, we can go ahead and create a new assessment. And that's all it really takes in order to go ahead and import those MITRE ATT&CK navigator layers if you're using those today, or if um, you just want to import those for MITRE directly. So that's one of the quick ways that we help integrate and help our customers quickly get started. Now, let's go take a look at our scenario library next so we can show you how we help you find the tactics and techniques you're after 
And after that, we can finally review how we report on the results with MITRE and MINE, uh, both in product and from a reporting pers generation perspective. The Otech IQ platform presents its scenarios from whatever perspective the user would like to focus on, whether it's taking a look at it from the perspective of MITRE, as we can see here, or simply searching based on the extensive tagging that we make available so that you can quickly find the behaviors that you're looking for. From this perspective, we can take a look at the tactics themselves, the techniques, and give you the capabilities to see the different ways that you can modify and customize these to meet the different procedures. Or we can also provide them to you already pre-configured and predefined for specific threat actors to emulate that threat specifically. This provides you to execute things in whatever modality makes sense for your given use case. If you want to apply the minor attack matrix from the perspective of the controls capabilities verification perspective, we can configure things to test control specifically or execute those already configured with that perspective in mind. Alternatively, as an example, we might want to focus on the perspective of a threat, a known threat actor that we know is targeting us. Like we talked about earlier, we mentioned maze. We want to specifically emulate those behaviors to see how our environment will respond Still validating controls, but very much focus on what the threat actor would have done here. As you can see here, we give you the ability to review things just as you know them from the perspective of the minor enterprise. And from this perspective, not only do we provide you minor enterprise view, as you can see here, but also a cloud matrix as well as part of here. From this perspective, you can actually go ahead and filter based on either the tactics, different groups or threat actors, or from the perspective of technology as well. We allow you to take a look at things either at this tactics techniques level. If you want to take a look at sub techniques as well, we have that breakdown too. For any one of these, we can drill down and get an understanding of how many different procedures are actually configured for a given technique that's described. For any one of these scenarios, you're able to directly drill in get an understanding of what the attack entails. And if there's configuration available, you can absolutely configure it as well. We wanna make it both easy to run with default, smart defaults, as we like to call them internally, or give you the ability to have full control when we wanna emulate a red team exercise, or maybe emulate a threat actor, like we talked about earlier, something like Mace. As you can see, every scenario in our library is tied with not only the tactics, sub techniques as well but also the corresponding apts as well as different controls and capabilities that are being exercised now let's take a look at things from another perspective now if we go to our normal scenario view i'll go ahead and switch to list so i prefer that one we can also filter from a variety of other perspectives as we can see here we saw this previously but let's go ahead and filter by something like fin6 and we can go ahead and select it from that perspective, but let's actually just search here. We can search for the tags for something like Fin6 and see all the tactics and procedures that are actually related to Fin6 here. If we follow up as well, we can take a look at Discovery and maybe filter down further specific to the category of something like Discovery as well. Uh, an important fact, uh, just to further drill down on this, is the fact that, and let's filter by something like DLP, that as a platform, we want to give you the ability to, again, either emulate attacker behavior. We did that with Maze, uh, as we saw earlier. Uh, we can filter right in the library as well in order to look. We also want to give you the ability to, as part of an analyst, as part of a detection capabilities perspective, to, as you're creating a certain analytic, give you the functionalities and capabilities to create a matching test. Here we can see that with this example, assuming that say an analyst wanted to make sure that if any time we observe 10 or more credit cards being exfiltrated from the environment, say over DNS, that we're actually able to verify and understand. Uh, not only are we gonna generate this behavior, our network threat module will actually automatically verify that that file actually made it outside of the environment as well. So you have that assurance and validation uh, that the test, when we tell you something got exfiltrated, actually did. Um, as part of a process, we can actually go ahead and save this and make a copy so that as part of your analyst role, 
in building analytics, you can verify um, that that work that you're implementing is working effectively. Let's take a look at how we provide context from the perspective of MITRE with every single assessment within our platform. We drive in from this perspective, we can see that the results are actually being mapped in this heat map where we highlight from the perspective of prevention where we have strengths, where we have areas of weakness that we might need to work on. We can even expand things and take a look at the sub-technique level, how do we stand there? As you can see, this is the area security account manager is the area with an OS dumping where we're not actually preventing might be an example of that. As we collapse here, we can also take a look at things from the perspective of detection. If we want to get an understanding of how much coverage a given technology would provide, we can drill down into one of those and understand that coverage and capabilities for any one of these technologies. We can also provide a combined score, which gives you a quick way of scoring and understanding what are the areas that you may want to focus on uh, given the lowest combined score that is observed within your environment. This context is then also bundled together through our reporting capabilities. As you can see here, we have a number of different reports that can be generated. Let's go ahead and take a look at our baseline report that includes some of this MITRE context as part of an assessment. Let's go ahead and take a look at this report. First of all, we have a nice executive summary given an understanding of what are the areas that are going to be tested here. As you can see, we have a breakdown by technology as well as the coverage for the technology. Here we have scenario results for every single scenario. So we can see from the perspective of AV, how much of this is prevented. Looks like we're not preventing at all, uh, but we do have a number of detections. Perspective of endpoint, content filter, TLP, and firewall. IPS as well. Here we have the MITRE attack mappings showcasing what those results look like, both at the tactic level and the subtechnique level as well. Here we can see those same results, but from the perspective of the detection and how much coverage we have from that perspective too. That concludes the review here. Thank you everyone for joining me on the first episode of Cyber Snacks. I hope you found it valuable and maybe even took some time to enjoy a snack of your own. If you're interested in taking a deep dive into the Attack IQ platform, you can join one of our live weekly demos every Thursday. We'll put a link in the description below. We look forward to seeing you there and on the next episode of Cyber Snacks.